October 1985 was the beginning of the blockbuster era, when the chain's first store opened in Dallas, Texas. Millions of Americans used to stop by their neighborhood blockbuster to rent video cassettes, DVDs, and Blu-rays, each priced much lower than a movie ticket. The chain continued to grow until 2004, when it boasted over 9,000 stores. To understand this month's turn of events, let's think back to the 1890s, when buggy whip manufacturers were in their heyday. Sure, there was talk of the horseless motor carriage, but none of the companies wanted to invest in the fledgling automobile industry. They just didn't see it as a threat. In the same way, Blockbuster turned down the opportunity to acquire a new company called Netflix in the year 2000. Why spend $50 million on a fad that might never pan out, right? Now back to 2014, when existing company-owned stores are clearing out their videos at drastically reduced prices. I was able to buy all these for the cost of a couple of movie tickets. Want to hear something ironic? Blockbuster rented out its last film this past November in Hawaii. It was called This Is The End. Although all company-owned stores are closing, 50 Blockbuster franchise locations are expected to remain open, at least for now. And Blockbuster On Demand will continue. It's kind of like Netflix, but without the reputation. This is Steve Eastman reporting. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com.